think there's a new faction coming to raid. Let's break it down. You seem like a calm and reasonable person. Are you? A calm and reasonable person. Good morning, my name is Brito. I got some coffee. Let's dive right in. Lissandra, message borne by a raven. Father greets you. There's a dire plight that moves me in this hour. Loki, once a dear friend of Asgard, seeks to upend the very foundations of the world. I can't keep this up. He weaves enchanting lies, promising unbound freedom, and his arrogance could be the death of all. We must end this chaos at any cost. Act before it is too late. Seek me out, face my trial, for only the strongest will be able to thwart the deceiver, and they will need mighty war gear to do so. You cannot fail. Teleria itself is at stake. What do we what do we gather from here? Loki is gonna be a boss, I think. We might have to do a little uh, trial here, whatever this is. Maybe it's a new dungeon. Who knows, maybe a, a small new game mode. Maybe we're gonna get new gear sets. There is a faction here that is still hidden. And you can see up here, it's that same faction that we're still waiting on to show up. We already have some champions that fit Norse vibe. I mean, he's already a frost giant, Jotun. He's even got the runes on his back. I mean, his name is Jotun. You know what I mean? In Norse mythology, there are Valkyries. So, oh, Alton, another giant. And uh, Alskor, obviously a ripoff of Thor. You ever stumble onto something that feels like it's straight out of a legend? Well, I've got something wild to show you. These icy relics that were sent to us, these are pictures, these mysterious pictures, there are six of them. I think they point to a new faction in Raid, and we're gonna dive into that together. These pictures were sent to me on Discord, content creator program. So picture this, you're wandering through a frozen wasteland, snow crunching underfoot when suddenly you spot something glinting in the distance. You brush off the snow, and there it is. This ancient artifact just sitting there waiting to tell its story. And that's what we're gonna be dealing with here. These images are more than just cool shots, they're clues. We're gonna have to guess. I think there's a new faction coming to raid. I'm not an expert in Norse mythology. I know just as much as the next guy who watches the, the Thor movies or the Marvel Cinematic Uni Universe with Asgard and everything. I did play uh, the God of War games growing up and I most recently played uh, uh, Ragnarok on the PS5. And the DLC. Oh, and I, re I read the uh, the comics, the graphic novels. Novels. All right. First up, this is a battle scene straight out of the Viking saga. You got a shield that looks like it's been through the ringer, covered in those classic Norse designs. And right next to it is a helmet that has seen better days. To me, this just screams Thor, almost. I mean, who else would have a shield that badass? I think Thor is all about. Well, actually, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe it's not even really Thor. Maybe. It... I think actually this could have been a shield of somebody who followed Thor because for my what I recollect was Thor would often lead Asgardians into battle and a lot of them would just follow Thor because he was the strongest. Could have belonged to somebody who followed Thor, someone who believed in smashing through their enemies with pure unrelenting force. This is like a snapshot of, well I guess of a battle that happened a while ago. And this looks like an Asgardian helmet to me. We have the ceremonial spears. This one's got me thinking Odin. The spears are obviously not just for fighting. I mean, look at those golden tips and those ribbons fluttering in the wind. This has Odin written all over it. He is the Allfather, the guy who's got his hands in everything, war, wisdom, you name it. And his spear, Gungnir, is legendary, never misses. So these spears could have been used in some sort of ritual or ceremony, maybe even to honor Odin himself before the big battle. And the stone that we see right here, it's got runes on them. It's like an ancient script telling a story only those in the know would understand. This is the kind of stuff that binds a faction together, the shared beliefs, rituals, and wisdoms of gods. You know, maybe it's a little bit biased. This is all sort of speculative. Nothing's been confirmed. I'm just guessing here. Maybe part of me is just like, hey, I really want this. I really want this. I really want a new faction. 
That would be pretty cool. Using the Vikings or the Asgard, or, uh, Asgard, or the Asgardians. Norse mythology is perfect. Here we have a, it's like a frozen shipwreck, but I do know. All right, imagine this. You're on a ship, the wind is howling, the sea's angry, and bam, you're wrecked in the middle of a frozen wasteland. And that's what this image is showing us. Just stuck in a fjord, a frozen fjord. The, uh, the dragon-headed prow is pure Viking style, and it's giving me serious vibes of Njord or Aegir. Njord's the god of the sea, and Aegir's the god of the ocean deep. Deep, dark places. The ship could have been blessed by them, or maybe cursed, who knows? But the fact that it's stuck in the ice like this, it's like nature itself decided to put an end to whatever journey um, this crew was on. Who knows? But those northern lights in the background, that's beautiful. It is almost like a sign. The gods are still watching. You ever see the northern lights? I've seen it a few times. Went to Alaska once. Here we have another picture. A giant sword. A colossal sword. There's quite a few people in the Norse mythology who have giant swords. I mean, look at it. It's stuck in a mountain, like it's Excalibur or something. This is the kind of weapon you would expect to see Tyr. If you guys played God of War, Tyr, huge guy who towers over Kratos, who in the comics is like, I think he's like eight foot. Like, Tyr's a big dude. I think he was like half giant. But he's also the god of war and justice. He led the battle against Odin. Tyr's the guy who sacrificed his hand to bind Fenrir, the giant wolf. He's not afraid of anything. And this sword is a testament to that kind of courage and sacrifice. But if you're feeling a little bit more apocalyptic, you guys have seen the movies, this could also be Surtur's sword. You know the fire giant who was destined to bring about the end? He was bringing Ragnarok in the movies and in the comics. Either way, this sword isn't just a weapon, it is a symbol of power and destruction. Maybe even a little bit of hope. Maybe this is going to be a, a sword that belongs to um, one of the legendary champions or mythical champions in this new faction. This right here is, uh, well, this one really is something. It's a little bit different. We have runes here. We have um, interweaving some inner workings here. We've got this ancient stone buried half in snow, covered in runes and not work. This could be linked to the Norns, the trio of goddesses who control fate in Norse mythology. These guys, girls, decide the destiny of gods and men alike, weaving the threads of life into itself. Or maybe it's connected to Yggdrasil, the world tree. This tree is literally the set, like this, it's an entire section in God of War Ragnarok. We go through it back and forth multiple times. This tree is literally the center of the universe in Norse mythology, connecting all the realms. If this stone's part of that, then it's like holding a piece of the cosmos in your hand. It's the kind of artifact that a faction could draw power from, maybe even shape their entire belief system around. And our first loss, not 100%. Sometimes the 3% uh, happens. Look at this, we're also in an icy area. And the uh, the ice golem here looks like, you guys remember um, in the first Thor movie, he fought against the, uh, in X-Men Days of Future Past? Sentinels, the Sentinels. Almost similar to the Sentinels, but mostly the, the Colossus, the colossal uh, thing that came down from Asgard to fight Thor in the first movie. Coming back full circle to another battlefield scene. Cracked shield, half-buried sword. I mean, looks almost like the first image that we saw with the shield and there was something, I think it might have been a spear in front of it. To me, it feels like it's a scene honoring somebody in a battlefield, a tribute to those who fought and fell with the spirits that still live on, waiting to be reborn in battle. I'm not really sure what this is. If anybody knows what this stone is, because it looks different than the other one. Um, so what's the takeaway here? These aren't just artifacts, they're relics. They're the heartbeat of a faction that's steeped in Norse mythology. We're talking about warriors who didn't fight with just swords and shields. They had the power of the gods behind them. If this new faction is anything like what we're seeing here, Teleria better brace itself. All of you guys watching this right now, brace yourselves because these frostbitten warriors are about to bring some serious heat to raid Shadow Legends. Obviously, the other content creators have come out with videos. Um, Nubs is always on it. Insane new crossover. I think that maybe he thinks there's another like IP 
coming to raid, kind of like uh, Monster Hunter. Hell Hades is saying Thor is coming to raid. Oh, Ash is saying free Loki coming, new dungeon coming soon. Yeah.